Hello, shalom, hola, and welcome to Celebrity Predictions with me, uh, Mystic Reverend Travis Tidwell, and I'm here with my co-host from The Spiritual Life, Ashley. Hi, good evening. How are you? And uh, she's now my co-host on uh, Celebrity Predictions. <laughs> I'm really excited that he decided to do this. You have no idea, because we have spoken about it like months ago. Right. And, yes. And it's only being offered on YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, which YouTube. makes it more exciting. Yeah. Uh, the Spiritual Life, you know, we podcast out on Spotify and for iTunes and other channels. Uh, but the Celebrity Predictions will go on uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, it will be listed under Celebrity Predictions, and it'll be always Ashley's top five because she is the girl who's got her eyes on everything up and to, the ears up to open for everything. Up to with pop culture, so, I guess yeah. you could say, yes. <laughs> No, yeah. um, I try to I mix it up a little bit, so I'm excited. We'll see what we come up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and hit subscribe and like and share. So I know those are really important things to get our faces out there in YouTube. Yeah, you so bet. do that if you can. Yeah, and, al and also I'd like to uh, acknowledge my producer here, my daughter Athena, who's very gifted and talented. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, we always want to give thanks to the Lord God, Yah Lord God Yahweh. Excuse me, in the Holy and Divine Spirit. And dragging everybody else who powers us spiritually because this isn't just about celebrities, ladies and gentlemen. It's about spirit mm -hmm. and us divining information for these people and seeing where they're at and where they're going. We're just having a little bit of fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> for, for me, it's work. For her, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, so like, uh, so do we want to just jump we're into gonna, this? Yeah, well, yeah let's just jump on in because this isn't one of our normal episode podcasts of Spiritual Life. This is our first. Today is the 17th. Of, of June. June, yes. And this is our first podcast with our new series called Celebrity Predictions. Yes. And it's and official. Yeah, so we're going to be taking a little bit of everybody, like politicians, celebrities, what's current events. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions that you would love to uh, get a read on, just uh, contact Travis at Yeah, or leave a Travis, comment. Or leave a comment, yeah. Or what's your email? Travis Tibble. Well, it's Travis Tibble Podcast, podcast. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. But you're more than welcome just to leave a, a comment, you know, if you have a question or if you think I'm wrong or if you think I was on point. I always like validation. Uh, See how things unfold in the future. Y you never yeah. know. And we're going to be doing some numerology tonight also on some of these celebrities and find out what their soul level is. Because, again, I'm my own philosopher. Uh, and, I, and I do, yeah, I, I do have my philosophy. So, uh, for some of these uh, people out here, we'll find out who their angel is and what kind of karma they have in this life. So, Ashley, who, who do you have on the top of your list? So, as of right now, I know in the media, Chrissy Teigen continue, continuously gets brought up all the time. I've always Why? thought, of, I've, Why? Always, I've always thought Why? of her. As, I don't know. I got a vibe about her. I've never really been a fan. And neither have I. Now honestly, I'm, now I'm glad that these things are coming out. So basically. Oh my God. <laughs> so basically she had deleted over 60,000 mean tweets and she's made disgusting uh, comments about getting turned on about watching little girls do splits and stuff on t uh, toddlers and tiaras. And, uh, and, and you, you sure yes. that's valid information? Yes. No, it's, and she's actually mm. doing a full apology right now. So, which, which kind of leads me, cause I know like uh, Travis likes to ask for birthdays. Her birthday is on November 30th, uh, 1985. She's I think about 35 years and old. This is on Christine. Uh, Chrissy Teigen. This is John Legend's yeah. wife. Yes. So, um, I guess, um, and the birth date again was um, November thirtieth, in nineteen eighty-five. She's about thirty-five. Oh, she's right a now. Scorpio Sag. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I thought she uh, was looking a little different on one of the last TV shots I saw on her. Honestly, I, um, so I had so many questions, but yeah. I have already, I already knew the answer in my heart. But I guess one of the questions is, is like, she's sorry. Is she truly sorry that she bullied these people? Designers are coming out saying that. Well, she's high maintenance. She's a one. In my philosophy, this is her first time here in this consciousness of the Adam and Eve consciousness in this program now. Now, she might have a past life in Atlantis or, you know, other galaxies, stations, this and that and the other. But so she's, and that's why she was a natural model growing up. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, so I guess the question is with okay. all these things happening in the, the media. Well, let me finish. Oh, okay. Please let me finish. Of course. Uh, because, because here's the other thing I feel for Chrissy. No matter who she's married to or, or, or you know, what she does for a living, uh, I do feel that already there's health issues around her, okay, number one. Mm -hmm. And I could be wrong. But she's high maintenance. She's very independent. 
her biggest challenges are making decisions. Um, but she has instant karma, so you can bet if she's saying something bad or doing something bad, it's going to bite her in the butt immediately. It's not going to. It's not going to take a long time. Um, her current her angel is Ariel. Let's see what her current cycle is. Oh, so apparently she undergoes oh. into me, um, endometriosis surgery, and that was in February. So maybe she does have a health issue. It sounds like. Okay. Well, thank you for that validation. Mm -hmm. And I was just sensing that. Uh, but here we go. Uh, she's in a nine cycle, honey. So I would I would tell her nothing uh, recreational that's dangerous right now for her. I would tell her um, keep her secrets, move in secrecy. There are secrets around her, mm -hmm. you know, listen to her higher self, keep a dream diary. Um, and those are the things I would say, but I wouldn't do anything dangerous that's, that's recreational, as I said, because you could be clumsy in this cycle. And a lot of times, too, if the, if the cycle's not affecting you directly, or even if it is, a lot of times it brings bad luck with people close to you that you love. Oh, man, I have so many questions. Mm. Yeah, not so, so many. I, I narrowed it down, know, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, she she's a Sag, and I'm a Sag, and a Sag is a very positive people. But because I consider her to be a Scorpio Sag, she can become fixated, and she can be a little sensitive. Yeah, she seems like it. I've, I've seen her um, be very uh, emotional and uh, lash out All on right, quite so, a few occasions. So what, what would be the question okay, for, the for question. me tonight with her? So is she, so right now with, um, I guess, companies like uh, basically breaking up with Chrissy, um, they don't want to be associated with her. Um, is she really sorry about what she did or is she just kind of sorry she got caught? You know, because wow. six, 60,000 tweets is a lot. Like, you're really trolling at that uh, point. Yes and no. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if you've got a, a million tweets or a million followers and you got 60,000 people are unhappy, that's not a lot of people in my philosophy. But let's ask here. The question is for Chrissy Teigen. Mm -hmm. If she feels uh, authentically sorry. Mm -hmm. is, she so, is she really sorry or is she just sorry she got caught? Chrissy Teigen. I'm going to use some old Rider weight deck here. And I asked the Great Spirit present with me this day for a trend site. I want to know for Chrissy Teigen this day if she feels, uh, what was the word again? Um, sorry or sorry she got caught. Yeah, we seek to know if she's authentically sorry mm -hmm. uh, for what she said and the people she bullied. Mm -hmm. As we're inquiring. And I asked the Great Spirit of the tarot present with me this day for a trend site on Chrissy Teigen. You know, and the thing is, is that that's, that's again, what we're talking about. She's a young soul. She has instant karma. She says something. She does something like, stuff like that. Automatically, boom, she gets a reaction that's negative. Uh, yeah. It's called karma, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. It's called karma. And I just want to thank everybody, too, again, for being on YouTube with us today mm -hmm. and sharing this information. Boy, she has a feeling of a lot of false, false starts right now. Uh, she feels a little bit lost, I feel, in the sauce here. Looks like she's talked to a lawyer, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, something going on there. Um, but we're asking if she's authentically sorry. And uh, I honestly, I, it said no. Yeah. You know? I, I and it's all because she's lost money. Doesn't shock me. And, you know, now there will be some kind of reconciliation with a couple companies coming up here. But overall, she's she's lost quite a bit from what she's done or said. I really don't know what she's done or said. I'm just answering Ashley's questions today. That's, that's what makes yeah. it even more authentic because uh, you really don't follow any of this. You're like, well, just I, see I know. what happens. You it's, know, like, it's not uh, biased in any way. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a lot of contradictions around her for new beginnings and opportunities coming up here this year. Um you know, it might even affect her husband coming up here in the near future in some way in one day experience here. But yeah, I, I kind of feel that maybe she needs to uh, move on out of the past and become more conscious and become more elevated with her thoughts, you know. So um, I guess my next question would be for her to feel comfortable enough to say some of these really grotesque, disgusting things about children. Um, she even told uh, Courtney Stodden um, to take a dirt nap or something like she's been she's too comfortable telling people to die so is she like part of like an, an is elitist that what, was that what dirt nap means yeah 
she's all take a dirt nap and i was like ooh, it was just weird because the, the girl was 16 like she was like 29 so basically is she like an elitist is she like in rolling the, in this gang where she could do these things say these things Okay, we have to simplify that question. Um, I guess like we're, um, we're asking divination here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, how can I simplify this? Um, like, I guess what made her feel comfortable enough to be so outlandish? We'll leave it like that. Well, you know, honestly, I don't have to throw cards on that. Actually, mm -hmm. her vibration says that she's very arrogant, preoccupied with her own ego. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I don't mean that I say that with love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm -hmm. she's focused on herself. She, she's always come off that way to me. So. And, you know, I don't know that much about her. Uh, she's a very beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. You know, her husband's very talented. I know that. I've heard a couple of his songs. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that kind of music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it looks like it's paying the bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, that's going to lead into my next uh uh, question because I, I mean now I'm curious about what kind of individual he is to be married to somebody like that he's won so many awards he's always like uh, been very conscientious about his brand and how he represents himself so to be with somebody like Chrissy Teigen that's so like uh, just kind of loose at the mouth uh, like I guess was he aware of her behavior before they got married and I'm I can give sure. you his okay. birthday. I, I'm not sure if that's a relevant question. Let's think about it. <laughs> well, I guess it's like, what does that say about him? So his birthday well, is December 28th, um, okay, 1978. Hold okay, hold on here, John. Legend. I think in the birthday was 1228. Yeah, 1978. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, in my philosophy, this would be his second time here on Earth. He's a very young soul, multi-talented, uh, very creative, too, in an in a inner way. Maybe he also does art and can create things with his hands. Obviously, he's very talented with his hands with being music. Mm -hmm. The piano. Um, but, you know, he could still have challenges at time uh, communicating intimately. Mm -hmm. uh, balance is his key phrase in life to keep balance and have challenges. For him, he has to have the perfect woman. And that's what she's always been to him is the perfect woman, you know. And uh, he, he has to feel needed. You know, and he's a young soul, so he feel he, he's needy. He's needy, you know what I'm saying? And that. she kind of provides that for him. Yeah, I, I yeah. feel that. I feel that, honestly. Hmm. And, you know, he's very independent. Family's very important for him. Mm -hmm. um, he might be oversensitive at times, but you would never know that. Yeah, I would never think that yeah, way yeah, about Yeah, because he keeps a pretty good image about himself, and image is important for him. Um, uh, when we look at John's current cycle right now, let's see here. He's in an eight cycle right now. So people in situations who are disappointing him right now, uh, at the end of the year, they could, you know, this next year, they could be indirectly betraying him. Or maybe his wife, Chrissy, might be having some more bad luck. You know what I'm saying? Because it looks like that she's lost money through this situation or episode in her life. Well, like, how does he feel about his image now that his wife's under fire? Um, like, because uh, these are huge. Okay. Here, here, here's what we'll do. John Legend with Chrissy Teigen. John Legend with Chrissy Teigen. John Legend with Chrissy Teigen. Dini, you want to give me some advice on these readings here? Are you are you there, Athena? We seek to know for John Legend this this day. Where's he at? Where's he going with his feelings, communication, and relationship with his wife, Chrissy Teigen? That's what you want to know. Well, I'm just curious about if he cares or not, because these are hefty allegations. Those John Legend. She's a bully. John Legend. Cancel culture's real right now. John Legend. I seek to know for John Legend this, this day. Where is he at? Where is he going with this feelings, communication, relation with his wife, Chrissy Teigen? And again, I ask the great spirit of the tarot for a trend site. Well... You know, I feel at some point that um, 
he might feel that she's a little emotionally upset right now. He might feel that people have bad testimony against her. Um, he might feel a little bit blocked in how much he can help her. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's that's something he might feel. Um, he is the king of love to her. And, you know, they've had their ups and downs, but he, you know, he's had peace of mind game with her in the past. It's, you know, it always costs for peace of mind at times, but there's a feeling of new beginning around them coming up here. Now, maybe that's with family uh, coming up here. Uh, I would also say, too, that I would see a new place of residence coming for them. Um, and there could be a joint business venture for them that they could be getting involved with uh, down the road. Uh, meanwhile, in the next few months, I see them having some struggle, uh, personally. Um, I feel at some point that, you know, they've had their ups and downs. And so he's got daggers in his heart from her, so she's been brutal with him, you know. And um, Angel Gabriel says that, you know, he's he's been praying for help uh, with her and the family, and he's hoping it'll come through. But he's he's been stressing over her at times. Hey. Yeah. You know, okay. Maybe he's starting something new himself. That's something that could involve her or be better for the family. But <laughs> between now and that time, I feel that he's at a crossroads because he has to wait on her reactions before he can react. You know, maybe at some point she's thought about leaving him. You know what I'm saying? I could see that. Um, but like that would be, I think she would be absolutely nothing without him. Like yeah. to be honest. I know what she would do. Well, I feel this ha isn't his first rodeo with her. Mm -hmm. Marriages are work. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I kind of feel they'll probably get through it. You know? Um, that's just the way I kind of see that to the, uh, today. Alrighty um, then. I kind of feel that in a lot of ways he feels she's the perfect woman. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, you know, I mean, things can change. This is good for the next three months, okay, John? I mean, hey, look, <laughs> three to six months. If you'd like that, give me a call. I mean, uh, but that's what I see there with, with John and Chris. All righty, then. Well, thank you for that. That actually yeah. um, gave us some insight into how their relationship is. Yeah, I mean, you know, I Because I think, like, people were really curious about that. Like, how can you... Like, what does that say about your character, though, I guess, as a person, well, if you allow it, that to happen? Well, it's, it's tough. Love it's is just blind. Like, it's just like marrying a drunk or an alcoholic. Yeah. Love is blind, though. Well, like, I mean, right. love is blind. Mm. Mm -hmm. But true love endures also. So, okay, he's an alcoholic. He beats me. You know, I am still love him. I'm going to stick with him. You know what I'm saying? We have that kind of dysfunctional love also in this life. I don't know if that's true love, though. Is it? No, true love is not. I don't yeah, think it's her. I'm just saying that's what they pain. feel, you know. So what else do we got? About <clears throat> All right, let's go. Let's go. So let's uh, talk about right now. Um, even though I personally don't even like talking about her, it's just a hot topic right now is Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. So right now they're they're been uh, estranged for quite some time. For the past few months, he's already. I thought, I thought they got divorced already. No, no, they're in the midst of a, a divorce and. He unfollowed the whole family, and she keeps trying to say happy birthday. Um, it looks like he renewed his friendship both with Beyonce and Jay-Z, which, you know, seems very coincidental now that him and Kardashian are no longer together. So um, would you like me Why to Why was there you? a problem? Oh, my gosh. You could just... I think they kept it classy, but I think, like, Beyonce and Jay-Z were like, we are not having our How family. How do you spell Kanye? K-A-N-Y-E. Okay, so what's 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 it? her birthday? Yeah, it's October twenty first, nineteen eighty. And would you like his? Yeah. June eighth, nineteen seventy seven. Yeah, I love Gemini guys. They're some of my best friends have been Gemini's. I love Gemini's, but they have been the hardest men on women because it's hard for them to be true to women. Uh. I don't know. I will say I think she tried. I, I think she tried in this marriage, and I don't think what she signed up for was the embarrassment, but he is bipolar, and that's also, I guess, what you said. Yeah, up no, for. he's probably, I feel like he's had, if not one, but maybe two nervous breakdowns. Oh, he's already had a few. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, in and the public. Yeah, you know, even when wanting to run for president was, like, laughable. 
Um, I don't well, think he was on his meds personally. No, I don't know, but I feel sorry for him because his mother died. Uh, my mother died. I blacked out for 30 days. I could understand losing your mother. And I, I like the, the, the older Kanye West music. I, we were just watching the black that older. The, the, <laughs> the black community <laughs> agrees. The black community agrees. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that one with Katy Perry was good, too. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, but no, the old Kanye music, I love it. You know, I didn't even realize he that some of those songs were his. I just hear it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I got mad respect for him on that level. I love me some Kanye. Even though he's but, crazy, I've never turned my back on him. But, um, well, it's hard because when somebody has become as successful as he has and has made much money as he has, and as, you know, he, he's another living example of somebody who came from nothing and made something. You know what I'm well, saying? I, okay, that's not technically true. He studied at some uh, of the, oh. the biggest art. He studied. Okay, so what Hollywood gets you thinking is that some of these people are from the streets and they're not. Like his mom was well, a teacher. Okay. But he also studied at some of the finest art schools in Europe, in France. And he has um, art right now that's on auction. So he's actually gotten a really good education. Okay. Well, excuse me, Pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. no, no, he, he has. Like, so, okay. you know. So yeah, I, I didn't I didn't even feel that. You know, I was just mm -hmm. assuming that, you know, but still but on some level I appreciate what you're saying. But still you gotta give him credit for being expressive, getting oh, out there. He's a genius. I love Kanye West. You know. So uh, I I'm guess not, I'm not sure if he's a genius. I would just say he's very talented. I, very, very talented. He's extremely talented. Yeah, very extremely talented. So I guess you know? the question is for for the question is, is what was the last straw on the camel's back when it came to their marriage? Okay, ho hold on. You're getting ahead of the camel here. Um, oh, how much time do we have on the battery there, producer? We're good. Okay. So uh, let's look at Kim. First of all, we look, we said 10, 21, 80. Um, 10, 21, 80. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, she's a 22, 4 with a whole lot more. Um, control freak. I could see that. You know, yeah, uh, it's it is about money and security for her. Her angel is Zod Kyle. As if they can't get enough. Fucking She's very money. successful at everything she does. She like has the Midas touch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in a lot of ways, but she still does fear security in some aspect. Let's look at her current cycle. Eight cycle right now, and Kanye's disappointing her. It will get worse. Oh. And that's a guarantee. Oh, no. That is a guarantee. Um, I guess we'll have to continue There could this. be new issues about business for her right now uh, that she's expanding or starting new. Mm -hmm. um, things that are overdue for her on some level, possibly on that level. Um, but, you know, again, when it comes to her personal life, there's a lot of disappointments. Looking at Kanye, let's see here, six eight seventy seven. Well, here's another young soul. His second time here on Earth too. So him and uh, John Legend should get along great. <laughs> I wonder. I think they might actually. You know? I think they might be friends. So um, and sense. here's the thing with John, John Legend. Even though he's too, he didn't talk about uh, the negative side of his personality, which could be temper tantrums. You know, Who, um, uh, John Legend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though he doesn't look it, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but Arthur. Yeah, but but for Kanye West, sh you bet there is. You know what I'm saying, and that's part of the that's part of his issue is controlling his emotions. Um, but he's he's very talented, as we know. We've talked about um, his current cycle. Let's see here. Okay, let me just double check this. He's in a one cycle right now. Thank God. So that's probably uh, why he's happy with the new girlfriend. He's, he looks like he's like renewed after. But yeah, it's all about new beginnings for him mm -hmm. right now. And he's really felt betrayed by Kim uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, and it, that betrayal started about three years ago. And it took a long time to get him up to where he's at now. You know what I'm to saying? To finally like get up and leave? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know, because let's face it, Kim Kardashian is a multimillionaire because of her looks and her exposure with her personality she's a personality star 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, I saw her in what in Scary Movie Three? Was it Scary Movie Three, Athena? No, disaster movie. Oh, it was the disaster movie. Oh god, which is pretty cute. It's comedy. That like was like a lot from of parodies. Like, like 2003 though, right? Yeah. It was like really old. Yeah, but she has done, not done anything, any serious, serious stuff on that level, really. I mean, she did help a woman get out of prison, I think. I'm not. So I do commend point. her for that, like for bet, trying totally. to become a and lawyer. She, yeah, but so she didn't do that. So uh, so she failed the test like twice now. Uh, and she, I guess she kind of keeps getting lower every time. I don't know if it's the second or third time. I'm sorry to hear that. Get I a, know. I mean, at least Get a tutor, trying. Kim. Get a tutor. I mean, she has lawyers helping her out directly. Yeah. So meditate on it, visualize your success, honey. Um, but so. going back to Kanye, mm-hmm. yeah, he's he looks like he's in a one cycle. No, excuse me. Yeah, one cycle. He just came out of a nine cycle, which means he again he feels betrayed by her. And you so, know. like, can you give us a little bit more disclosure in regards of how he feels betrayed? Why does he feel betrayed? Well, let's check it out, Johnny. Because he did call her mom, uh, Chris Jong Un. Like, and I was like, oh man, you have to be so mad to, you know, say that. And he's like, I don't want my daughter to be a prostitute. Like, you made your family like crazy. Well, because stuff, she's controlling stuff. everything. Yeah, you bet. It's all about money, baby. So she's definitely yeah. an elitist. Uh, yeah, for sure. So this is with Kanye West. Kanye West. Kanye West. I seek to know for Kanye West this this day. Where's yeah? Where's he going? This feelings, communication, uh, and relationship with his soon-to-be ex-wife Kim Kardashian. And I ask the great spirit of the terror present with me this day for a trend site for Kanye West with Kim Kardashian. Where's yeah? Where's he going in, in the uh, contact, communication, feelings for her? I feel bad because it's like um, when they first started like uh, dating, you could tell they really were in love with each other. Um, I was watching the show uh, Kim and Courtney take New York and they were trying to get like a, a shop and Kanye West walked in and like she lit up like a light bulb. So to see it go down like this, it's just really sad because like love, everyone deserves love, you know? Yeah, well, he, he's still in an emotional struggle about her. Uh, he, he he might have, be having a hard time letting her go, new girlfriend or not. Um, but he also has some feelings of resentment with her. He cut her off. Uh, he won't talk to her. There's some money issues between her and him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he questions her ethics about money and uh, things of that nature. So and, and maybe she could be wanting to get money from him that he's not happy about also. But I do see her and him coming up here in the next 45 days having a lunch together or doing something together mm-hmm. and talking. Now, that doesn't mean everything's going to be worked out because mm-hmm. he's very hot and cold about the money agreements with her. He's not happy with anything she proposes to him about money. So, um, but I do feel he's hot and cold with her. I do feel that. But he's shipwrecked. He's disappointed. There'll be some legal issues coming up here. So it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. They're holding it together for right now, at least. Um, but I guess, like, what was the, the that's last an, That's straw? an illusion. What was the last straw, though? Like, what was it that, like, just broke them up? Just a lack of communication, uh, different personality types? Um, is it because he was seeing her as someone untrustworthy? So then that's when it started breaking well, down. Well, again, I want to go back to money. Something with money came up between them. Mm. You know, and um, Kanye's a force to be reckoned with, you know. Oh, I'm sure. I can guarantee and, that. Uh, and, and, and so is she. I mean, this is his second time here. This is her fourth time here. They both have temper tantrums, and they both have emotional issues. But she is a control freak. She's got the OCD going. So he's not used to probably the women, you know. He wants them to be subservient, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Or agreeable to him, you know what I'm saying? I could, yeah, um, Kanye seems which, like that type. Which, you know, might not work with her. So uh, there, there's different dynamics there. I mean, let's face it. Not every relationship lasts forever. It's all about soulmates and karma and mm-hmm. completing your karma. Uh, we've all been in love more than once, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's still some struggles here. 
Okay, um, so let's move on then. Um, I hope we still have well, a little bit of time. On. I hope we do too. We are going to try to get the top five here, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Yes, yes. We so might get the top three. I don't know. Um, no, My so executive we... producer, how are we doing, sweetie? Cool. Wow. All right, so um, next topic, Bezos. So as we know, him and his brother, um, they create Bezos, Jeff Bezos okay. from Amazon. Um, so we know that him, himself and his brother, they created Blue Origin. And um, I think on July 20th, they are going to be, um, I guess, outer space. going in outer space. It's a right total that. of 11 minutes. Um, you know, someone uh, took a bid. They took a bid for $28 million to get a ride up there. I watched the full YouTube video. Um, I went to the site. It's a little it's a little vague. And it says email us for more information, which I found was interesting. They left it very minimal. So, um, I don't know. There's something about it that seems like a little off, but that's just me. You guys check it out. Maybe leave a comment what, what's below. What's his date of birth? So, Bezos is January 12th, 1964. Well, there's somebody who has a lot of control. Oh, yeah, I can see that. His wife just gave away $3 billion. She's like, she gave away like $3 billion last year. I love her. Good job, girl. Keep on giving. Yeah, you know, you're not going to take it with you. Well, at least the Egyptians believe you do, but I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> most other cultures. Was, so did the Vikings. Are, I was reading up on that. Yeah. Like, um, for instance, like if a Viking uh, had like a bed maiden that he liked a lot, she was getting... She was going down with him. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. well, damn, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like the Egyptians, you know, you he, he, Well, he's got servant. to have company in the afterlife. Come on, baby. What the, like, first of all, there's like infinite numbers of souls on the, on the afterlife. No, no, no. Not ready to rock and roll. You can't just hook up in the afterlife? No, I really feel like, you know, at some point... Uh, even though I feel like you're I, I'm consciously not sure. going to elevate past yeah, that. Yeah, I really I haven't. Like to. I haven't elevated my... Uh, mediumship skills to identify that conversation yet but moving right along he's six time here good communicator mm -hmm. suffers from melancholy and sometimes depression so can we please ask spirit what is his true intentions on actually going to space um i think they established this company back in 2000 so it's been around for like 21 years um very for myself very hush hush because that's not something i Keep up to. You know, speed Jeff's with. in a nine cycle right now, so he has a lot of secret enemies. And uh, whoever disappointed him last year, this year, they're they're working him over, and that could be his ex-wife. Okay. I, um, there, I don't. There's a vibe I get for him that I personally don't care for. That's just um, my me. He might be at some point feeling like he's doing something very prophetic right now with his life and career. Um, that's but, probably what this is. This is all about. You know, then. that that's that's really what I get with that. But uh, and he's carrying a lot of secrets. He's not telling everybody everything, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, but yeah, he has more money than God. And I, I wish he, I wish he was my stepfather, Jeff, <laughs> or better yet, just my big brother. No, <laughs> or no, better my little brother. I think I'm older than you, Jeff. I mean. <laughs> I feel like there probably comes a point like they're just not even personable people. He doesn't seem very personable. Uh, to me. I don't know. I mean, sixes are very communicative. They, they love to communicate and express themselves. They're usually fun people. Athena's a six. Hey, honey. <laughs> okay, so so, so Jeff Bezos. So what's the true intentions of him going to space? Like, is there yeah. a, a hidden agenda? I guess. Oh, that let's we don't find know out that. right now, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, I ask the great spirit present with me this day for Trinsight. I want to know for Jeff Bezos this day. I want to know for Jeff Bezos, where's he at? Where's he going? And the outcome of his intentions of uh, going to space. What is his intentions in going to into space? Correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like a and, and we asked the, the great spirit of the intention. tarot. This is a great oracle. Mm -hmm. I asked the great spirit of the tarot uh, for a for a true insight on Jeff Bezos because I want to know where's he at, where's he going, and what's his intention on going into space. That's right. I also have tarot classes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm, I'm a student. I've been with you for a while now. Yeah. Like more than six months. Yeah, you know, I feel that uh, there could be a couple things on his agenda. His 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 thought forms are constantly changing. Um, 
because now he might be questioning how much he ca he cannot make or can make right now going to space. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's thinking about moving into space. Now, that that's not a space station. That's living on the moon. I feel. And we'll see, but I, I definitely see him thinking about living into space, maybe wanting to commute back and forth. Uh, he wants to get to the heavens, you know, I mean, that's one of his the vibrations there. But, um, you know, there's a false starts around that for him. He's not being able to do everything he wants. Uh, I kind of feel... Um, Maybe it's more just like a getaway. First of all, I don't think he's going to be all that successful with um, this. I think he also lost the contract to Elon Musk for um, SpaceX. So I know that there's a lot of tension between them as individuals as well. So yeah, it, mm -hmm. it actually don't look good for him in the space business. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, his intention was to live somewhere else or commute or, you know what I'm saying, get that kind of vibe going for relocation, but... Yeah, I see nothing but challenge. And maybe him feeling stabbed in the back right now would be Elon Musk taking his business somewhere else. Mm. But Bezos has a couple other things he's working on. And it might not be, you know, uh, in the direction he wanted to go in space, but it'll, spill, it'll still be space connected. So there is no hidden agendas then. It's just basically like that. he's just about a money. space fanatic. Yeah, and, and it's mm -hmm. about money. Can I invest here and make something? Yeah. I'll build a hotel on the moon, charge people... Thirty million dollars to take a vacation on the moon. Yeah, they're already. I think yeah. the hotel should be done in twenty twenty seven. That's in five years. So, that's no time at all. It's like everything yeah. that we've seen in movies is actually happening. Oh yeah, yeah, Space yeah. Odyssey for real. Oh yeah, no, <clears> they're <throat> the scientists and people with big money know that you know this planet has those uh, cycles of extinction. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And that's what they're preparing for now. Yeah, I, you know, I've been saying that to myself for a long time. I'm like, they're trying to get us actively ready. So one more. Yeah. Do we have time for like one more? Yeah. One more. Okay, personally. Uh, but I'm all per personally perfect. Eh. So um, this one was kind of um, an interesting one. Um, I don't know if you guys know anything about Erica Jane. Um, she's a hot, sexy housewife, which I'm sure you would be very, very happy to look at. I know your uh, type of style well, there. Well, theater, theater <laughs> pull her up. No, so, um, so Erica Jane, and she was married to a uh, famous attorney, Tom Girardi. So basically, he's been embezzling um, money from sir, like victims from court, um, widows, orphans, um, and he would tell them, "No, I'm not going to give you your money. Let's hold on to make more money off of it." And then he was putting Let's it in his make lots of money, money off of the money, basically. So money. it was just I know like a documentary Let's came make out. Lots of money. Oh yeah, basically. Well, that's the thing. So you know now they're getting a divorce and. All this shit's just going to shit. Everything's going oh, to shit. I don't even know what we're talking about, but wow, it sounds very devastating. So it's called The Housewife and the Hustler. Okay. So, so, Eric, so I guess the question the is... The Housewife and the Hustler, lady, ladies and gentlemen. My God, what will they think of next? I so, mean, <laughs> these people so, want it all. Today. It's, I think what we want to know is if she really uh, didn't know if Tom was embellished... Uh, embellish, oh, my God. I can't be saying... Embezzling um, money. Exactly. So, um, Erica's birthday is July 10th, 1971. Let's see here. Okay. okay, and her and um her husband, Tom Girardi, is June 3rd, 1939. <laughs> uh, no comment. What's his date of birth? June 3rd, 1939. Wow. Mm-hmm. She's a gold digger. She's a gold She's been digger. with him for like almost 20 years. That's the crazy thing. Wow. You know. I'm sure they had none. I mean, some people have good connections. I can't. Yeah, no, I, I, I've dated younger women. And it's, there's at really the age when you're with somebody that was a good soul connection and a physical attraction. Age goes right out the window, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about your soul connection. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. I need me an old rich dude then. Oh my gosh. She's like she's like fifty right now, basically. Wow. Yeah, she looks really good. Yeah. I'm trying to find a sexier one. She actually models for uh, Rihanna. 
Yeah. Savage, Fenty. Yeah, she looks hot. Damn girl, if you see if you She's see really me. She's really pretty. I will give her that. Yeah, Erica, Jane. Mhm. Mm and Tom if you Jerry. see this this episode on my celebrity predictions, call me. You having men problems not finding love? Call me. Oh my lord. Call me. Beautiful. Mhm. Mm Beautiful. Well, okay, so let's talk about Erica. This is her eighth time here on earth. She's really a spiritual master waiting to be uncovered, but she might not know it yet. Very independent. Uh, carries the angel Ariel who promotes prayer and meditation. Uh, it could be her challenge in her life to keep her hope and faith at times, depending on her God connection. Um, expression is very important for her. Yeah, she has an alter ego. And um, she is the sign cancer, so she's very receptive. Probably a good little empath. But could dry a lot of draw a lot of high emotions around full moons, if not for herself, her loved ones, her current cycle. Let's see here. Well, she goes into a four cycle next month on her birthday. She's in a three cycle right now, which means that this past year has been a semi completion year for her. Things that she's wanted to do two or three years ago, she's finally looking at opportunities now to create. And this has also been probably a time for her this past year to work uh, and help family in some it's way for herself. It's funny you say that because um, I used to watch Housewives like a long time ago, not, no longer, not the past three years. However, um, I did see an article that she that she recently started doing Broadway. I remember years ago, she's like, I've always wanted to be an actress and do Broadway. So it's funny you brought that up because that is where she's currently going. Where? Um, to Broadway, like doing, she's now taking on acting, which oh. before she was just a housewife and a and a performer. Okay, so that's that semi completion, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she goes into four cycles, so that's going to promote control issues. She's focused on her second half of life, maybe looking at some property, real estate. She needs to be careful of legal snares, legal legal complications. Oh shit, it's just so bad right now in court. Her yeah, attorneys just dropped her after that documentary came yeah, out. They were like, we can't do this. Yeah, so I feel mm -hmm. sorry for her on that level, but and only in darkness can light shine. Mm -hmm. I do feel that she has been praying. I feel that her prayers are being heard, and I feel there's a spiritual gift coming to her uh, sometime this year that's going to help benefit her. So I guess the question is, was she aware that Tom was really embezzling? Because these people will never see any of that money now that they took well, away this is tom's fourth time here it's all about money he's also got some control stuff he's very mentally independent which means you really can't persuade him normally you know what i'm saying he seemed very stern in the show uh, yes. he's in a five cycle um which says that he's being told he needs to make the changes and he's being told he has to change so at like 85 <laughs> yeah like he i don't i don't know how much time and he has health issues. He said that um, he said that he's incompetent, basically, and he gave everything to take over for his brother. Or his brother so to take over. We, we seek to know for Erica Jane mm -hmm. if she knew of her husband Tom Gerard's embezzling. If she was conscious of it when it was going on. Mm -hmm. and this is on Erica Jane. Erica Jane. Erica Jane, and I seek to know for Erica Jane this this day. Uh, if she knew her, her husband, Tom Gerard, Gerardi, excuse me, mm -hmm. Gerardi, excuse me, uh, was embezzling. Was she, did she know it? Was she conscious of it? Where at the time? Yes or no? is a control freak and um, so that's very challenging for her mm -hmm. uh, I feel that she's had an overworked imagination with him uh, I'm gonna say no she wasn't uh, aware of what he was doing Ooh, that's good mm -hmm. yeah and good she's, you, okay. she's going to change right now with him but you know trying to stay as balanced as she can mm -hmm. uh, he'll probably be going to the hospital in the next 90 days I'm sure so yeah. She feels he's a wrong choice. She feels uh, he, uh, he reacted spontaneously. She still has to be careful about reacting spontaneously herself. Mm -hmm. But she's overthinking things. She can have what she wants in this life. 
without him. Y- yeah. It's just going to apply. Just by looking at her. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come you're on. fine, Erica. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Erica, you're fine, baby. You're you know good, what I'm saying, girl? girl? Like, you know, <laughs> call me. I mean. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, this is celebrity predictions, you know, yes. and uh, so hit like, subscribe, share. Please. Yeah, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go to our uh, YouTube channel and also check out our spiritual life podcasting that we're doing on um, iTunes and Spotify called yeah. The Spiritual Life with Travis Tidwell. That's right, mm-hmm. and you can contact uh, Ashley by going to Instagram at the Pisces Life Coach. Shoot me a DM. Yeah, and you can leave a message comment here on our, the YouTube channel for the Celebrity Predictions. Tell us what you think. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also listen to my album out that's on Spotify and iTunes called Time Has Come by Travis Tidwell. If you go to Spotify, iTunes, looking for a podcast, it's The Spiritual Life by uh, <laughs> excuse me, Travis Tidwell. So please uh, let us know. Keep us informed. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell your friends. Yes. And I just hope and pray that everything I've shared this day I can only hope and pray the Lord God, Yahweh, and the Holy and Divine Spirit would bless me with this episode with everything I'm saying being true and effective for these people. I've, I've made these predictions for this, this night. I mean, you've been pretty spot on, not knowing And anything. also entertained all of you in some way once these do come true. So yes. God bless everybody. God bless everybody out there on YouTube. Uh, we love you. Yes. And Have uh, a good night. wishing the best for you. Peace and love.